Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. We have another 6mm or tiny hoop motor shootout or testing we're going to do. If you didn't see the previous video where I test the stock motors that come with the Blade and Ductrix, the Kato motors, Gnarly motors, and the Spintex, I'll put a card right up here for you. You can watch that video and come back to watch this one. And uh, I've received a lot of different comments on testing methodologies, but I think I have to stay the same. Otherwise, I have to go back and test all those other motors, um, or those results aren't any good, or these results are different, so people can't weigh them. Um, so we're going to stay the same. We're going to do things with the trusty scale, some uh, blue tack to stick things down, and we're going to run them up to full throttle. I'm going to do a human five count, and then I am going to put on screen the uh, highest possible number that is recorded. Keep in mind that that is possibly a very temporary number and I do a five second count so that you can do your own analysis. Uh, this isn't a longevity test, it's not a durability test, it is just a maximum thrust test. You, What you'll hear, I've recorded all these motors and we have the Banggood motors, the Chioles, we have the uh, ready-made RC Strict motors and we have two sets from East Coast FPV, we have the Fast and the Super Fast motors. Uh, and these are the motors that you might consider along with my previous examples of uh, turning your blade inductrix into an FPV or using your E010 or Whoop-alike or E-Whoop or whoop -E, whatever you want to call this little guy with a camera um, so that you can get uh, some more throttle punch. Um, but quite honestly, if you saw my review of this, which I'll put a link to that up here as well, stock battery, stock motors, adding the camera as you see here, I got three minutes, about three minutes of flight time. So the stock motors aren't bad here, but these might be better. You will hear my voice a little bit differently because uh, I have pre-recorded all the tests and I will just be doing some color commentary of the segments that we include and I will put the previous test results up on this side of the screen and then I'll put the current test results on this side of the screen. We will also be doing the taste with the same battery I did previously. It's a MyLipo battery. And we have another battery to test out. It's Whoop Juice, and it is from East Coast FPV as well. You can see the C ratings are different as well as the size. And I will show you a weight difference if you want to consider that in one moment. Bring in our scale. So the Whoop Juice. 5.8 grams and the MyLipo 5 ma less 5.9 5.8 grams so almost the same on these two batteries and we'll do the standard testing with this and then we'll do a test afterwards with the Whoop Juice just to see if we get different results the batteries will be recharged after each test and they will be allowed to rest for 10 minutes and the motors will be allowed to rest for 10 minutes. And after we've tested each battery, then I'll switch out motors and we'll test a new one. This is going to be our test bed. It's the same one that I used the last time. It's an unadulterated blade inductrix. And you can see that I no longer have stock motors on this and I put uh, motors from the last test in here. These are the gnarly motors. Uh, one, one thing about these motor tests is I encourage you to try different motors. You're going, if you fly this a lot, the motors are gonna wear down their performance and do some longevity tests of your own or just kind of keep in mind, you know, I went for 50 flights with this one and then I only got 45 out of this one. That's a historical test that is very tough, in my opinion, to do uh, for YouTube purposes. So we're going to do the maximum throttle test. Let's get started. All right, first up, we have the Banggood Gioli motors. Get them all set there on the scale and zero things out for us to get started here. First test of the day. Oh, did you see that? 30.6 and on the board. Next up is the Banggood Chiolis on the Whoop Juice. Squeeze her on down the scale. Bind it up. Throw the throttle. 30.2. Put it on the board. There we go. Now we have the ready-made RC Strict motors. These are the probably the newest motors on the market. Ooh, 
that is a high score. If you look at the left hand side, that beats everything we've tested to date. Now we've got those ready made Strix on the Whoop Juice 34.9. Now we go to the East Coast FPV fast motors. I saw 28.6 twice. Now we try those same motors on the Whoop Juice. 29. Now we're going to move on to the East Coast FPV super fast motors. 30.6, had 35.5 twice, then it hit 30.6. Now we have the same motors on the Whoop Juice. Hmm, only 28.3. That seems a bit off. There we have it. Uh, pretty good showing, really. You know, I was impressed with pretty much all these motors uh, and a little bit surprised myself. The strict motors here came out on top if you're just looking for maximum punch, you know, a quick uh, hit on the uh, left stick if you're mode 2. I do want to add one more thing about turning these inductrix into tiny whoops. Uh, I see this quite a bit on Facebook where maybe somebody has got this cam, which is the EF01. Let me see. It's the one with the ears and has a metal case around it. I've got mine stripped down. Or the... Uh, have the MC02 which was just recently released and then their the original uh, I don't think you can see it oh there we go MC01 those might be fine cameras but they are heavy for what you're needing and my go-to every time I get this question is the FX797 and the 797 because when you take this case off and you cut your lead short you've got about four grams um, I have noticed, depending upon, uh, well, not where you get it, but there's a variable in manufacturing that sometimes the coax is a little longer, sometimes it's a bit shorter. Like if we compare this one, same camera, different lengths of coax. So there's a little bit of a variable on weight, and you'll also notice that I've got this lead pretty short here. And with 6 millimeter motors, we don't have an all lot of extra thrust to give away and uh, this is the camera of choice. There is another camera coming out, the Ishin TX02, and that one has a 25 milliwatt version and a 200 milliwatt version that they are saying weighs a little over 4.5 grams, and they've actually, it looks like they've added a rubber sheathing to the coax, and they've actually anodized the leaves as well, and it's a four leaf. Uh, so until we get that one in hands and we see what that one actually weighs, if you're wanting to do a tiny whoop or really anything with six millimeter motors, this is the camera I recommend. If you're building a brushed mini, this is the camera I would recommend. If you have some specialized frame that requires a particular camera, you know you've got to go with it. If you're doing fixed wing or something else that maybe the 1100 series motors, these these MC01s and 02s and the the other cameras that they have out, the micro all-in-ones, they'll be fine. But for these brushed, you're probably best going with this camera. I got this one from GearBest, and I have recently found that the GearBest shipping is beating the, the Banggood shipping. In this particular case, I ordered this on the 5th of September, and it was in my mailbox on the 15th, so 10 days. And it wasn't shipped from the U.S. warehouse. It did come from Guangdong. Um, so... You might have your own hesitancy for ordering from a particular vendor, but I thought that was something worth noting as my shipments have been coming in faster and faster. Things that I've been buying, they've been coming through quite quick, and I've been pretty happy about that. I don't have to pay any extra shipping. It's still free shipping. Normally, to get something in 10 days from Banggood, I have to pay the express shipping, which is, can range anywhere from 12 to I've paid as much as $17 to get something in 10 days. And I think the last two actually came in 12 days. So you might consider this camera. And you might consider faster shipping from uh, GearBest. Any questions or comments, leave those in the section down below. And uh, I'm sure we're going to see more 6mm brush motors because I don't think the popularity of these things are going away anytime soon. I, I, I think they're a lot of fun. I fly these whenever I can make it home for lunch. If the weather's not very good, I always grab one of these. I, I have this craving to fly just about every day. And these are a great way of getting a little bit of flight time even when the weather's not good. And the E010 
is a cheaper alternative to that. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody.